Riddle me this. What is the original name of the colossal structure that has the head of an African man and body of a lion? I bet you one thing. I know his name is not the Sphinx. This structure is called Hormacan, or Horus in the Horizon. He's most famous for his extremely large structure and missing nose that was shot off by Napoleon Bonaparte's soldiers in 1798. During that same time, French explorer Vivant Dunant illustrated an image of Hormacket before his nose was shot off and described the structure as having aphoric features with thick lips and a flat nose. Hormacket was extremely important to the people of that time. His position facing the east is because Ra, which is the sun, rises in the east. And the constellation of Leo the lion faces in the same direction. Many say that the head is of King Kafka from the 4th dynasty. But now scholars are finding that Hormacket could have gone back as far as the Badarian age. He was also important to potential kings, especially in the 18th dynasty. The story is that a young king named Menkepen Ra Tukudime IV took a nap between the paws. In his dream, Hormacket promised him the throne if he could dig him out of the sand successfully. He not only removed him from the sand, but he soon became king. Hormacket gives us just a glimpse into the world of the architectural advancement of our ancestors. So the next time you're in Vegas and you happen to walk past this structure here, just simply nod.